things that really helped my faith was my knowledge of physiology. Physiology was really an attractive subject to me. Physiology is the study of how our bodies work. The systems, the organs, the intricacies and the communication and, and things that happen that, that are inexplicable in our bodies. You know, in the 1950s, German physicist Schumann. Schumann came up with the theory that the earth and the heavens gave off a resonance. A resonance is a vibration. And he postulated that that hill out there and those trees out there vibrated and gave off a resonance. And they called it Schumann's resonance. He attempted to measure it. And he did measure it. And it was 7.83 hertz. That's Schumann's resonance. Now, that is below what we can hear. We can only pick up about 20 hertz. That's why an animal can detect a storm coming miles away before we have any clue of that, because they hear what is called infrasound. They feel the, actually the vibrations coming off of the thunder miles away before our ears can pick it up. So Schumann's resonance is at 7.8 hertz. That's pleasant, isn't it? That's an octavation of Schumann's resonance. That's taking the 8 hertz that we can't hear that the earth gives off and it is multiplying it. That is 32 hertz, what you just heard. So that's 4 times 8. You can go up to 64, you can go up to 128. And you just make multiples of 8 and you have Schumann's resonance. This is important. The way that God has worked in our lives and in this universe is fascinating. So they've graphed this. They can take a graph and they can measure Schumann's resonance at 7.83 hertz. You know what's amazing? You know what an EEG is? They put electrodes on your head and they measure the electromagnetic waves of your brain called the alpha waves. And when they measured the alpha waves and they graphed it, it has a particular appearance on a piece of paper like a polygraph. You've all seen that. They took Schumann's resonance and graphed it. Watch this. They're identical. The vibration that is coming off of the mountains, the seas, the trees, the heavens at 7.83 hertz is exactly what our brains give off when it's graphed, the electromagnetic activity of our brains. Why is this important? And how does it relate to you practically? And how does it relate to scripture beautifully? 7.83 7.83 hertz, the Schumann's resonance, feeds our brains, bathes our brain in a pleasant vibratory medicine that keeps us thinking correctly. Our moods elevated, keeps our thoughts organized and our behavior organized. So God has had a system in place, like, like the psalmist says here, that continually bathes his people and his universe in a healing resonance, something that makes us feel normal and human. You can take a color graph of a person and you can show the vibrations that are coming into their head, okay, the Schumann resonance. They can graph that with colors now. It's called PIP graphing. And you can see the picture of the person, and above their head is this really beautiful rainbow kind of colors, each representing the, the resonance coming off of the earth. Took the same person, handed him a cell phone, did the graph again. And this was fascinating to me. Over the person's head is this huge black cloud blocking the resonance of the earth coming into their heads. Because that cell phone gives off an electromagnetic pulse, just like the earth does, only it is not what God intended. You can do the same thing with any electromagnetic device, black cloud that surrounds them. What happens when you are not exposed to the God-given message of the skies and the hills and the trees, an inherent system in the universe that keeps us thinking right, feeling right, happy, moods elevated. If you block that, you're also getting a resonance. You're not getting Schumann's resonance, which is healing. You're getting a resonance that actually and literally can drive you crazy. Because, talk about image bearing, how God works. If I had another tuning fork set over here, tap that. The other tuning fork over here, exposed to this resonance, 
will start to vibrate on its own at the same exact frequency. I was down in the woods sitting by the creek. You ever do that? All of man's miseries derive from not being able to sit out in the wilderness or in quiet for 15 minutes. Those devices are putting off a pathological resonance into our heads that our brains pick up and just like the two tuning forks, our brains then and the brain waves start to emulate and vibrate at the same frequency of that device that you're getting exposed to. It is physiologically sound. It is sound according to physics. Your brain actually tries to recreate the vibrations that are coming into it. The more you get away from Schumann's resonance, which we're going to call God's resonance, the farther you get away from that, watch this, the less attractive the natural resonance of the universe is to you. It starts to become foreign to you. Paul says this in Romans, the first chapter. He said, men and women started worshiping the creature instead of the creator. And when they did that, the creator started to become an anathema to them, started to become foreign to them, started to become something they didn't recognize, started to become something they didn't want. Tesla picked this up, and you've all had them. MRIs. If everything puts off a vibration and if our, our healthy cells put off a vibration, we should be able to use this diagnostically. Found out that our cells and our organs and our tissues, you ever wonder how an MRI works? They subjected them to an electromagnetic force and all of the cells then start to spin and send off a vibration. So they can look at a heart, for instance, and they know that the cells in those organs spin at that resonance. Well, an MRI will pick up that there's a different frequency of vibration coming from that organ, a resonance beyond the appearance of the organ. You know, we didn't have MRI when I started. We had to actually diagnose. So they put a person into an MRI machine. The heart starts giving off a resonance beyond the surface appearance. So they know something's hidden there. There's something else that's giving a different frequency out of that heart that should come out of there. That's Schumann's resonance. A resonance beyond the surface. This is physics. This isn't fairy tale. The vibrations that you expose your brains to, your children's brains to, has a direct relationship to how they feel and how they act and how they behave. Vibrations, all of those are sending waves into their brains and their brains respond by matching it. It's called neuroplasticity. And the brain starts to vibrate at the same frequency of the thing that you are exposing yourself to over and over and over. This book, God's words, give off a resonance. Their words are not heard, the psalmist says, but their message is heard and sent out to all the ends of the earth. If I expose myself to the resonance here, I find a happy side effect. I start to feel better. I start to want more of this because it's sending something into my head that my head recognizes as intensely human and normal. It wants to find it. It is my theological belief that God has given us an inherent receiver a.k.a. the Holy Spirit, that seeks the resonance that comes from his word, from prayer, from meditation, from silence, from nature, that tunes our lives, bathes our brains in the kind of thing that keeps us healthy. They've taken this to the nth degree, the physicists that have studied this, and they say this, if we were exposed to nothing but Schumann's resonance, we would never get sick. You'll never see death. You'll never taste death. Do you see this? What has happened with the fall? A different resonance came into the universe. A pathological resonance started to bombard mankind. April 8th, 30 A.D., sunrise when that stone rolled away a new resonance flooded the earth and all of creation picks it up feels it hears it there's a new age there's a new way to live there's a different way to be human 
and it has been calling to all of creation, all of mankind ever since. And to hear the prairies calling out your name.